everyone, Miri here and welcome to my channel. Today you guys are gonna get a little bit of another sleepy update because well apparently the effects of the deadline are still running rampant and I got a little bit tired today as well. So essentially my schedule was all over the place because usually after a deadline happens, I don't know why, like, I, for some reason, end up doing things later than I'm supposed to. Don't worry, it doesn't affect my job. It's just like, for example, if I plan, like, doing something at the beginning of the, of the morning, like, I don't know, I can't think of an example at the moment, but, like, if I plan on taking some drawing lessons at a certain hour whenever my schedule goes all over the place i end up doing it later than i was supposed to mainly because i get easily distracted and whatnot but that's beside the point i think that also was part of the sleepiness that i still feel even though i slept quite well last night also before i get into the game i gotta say that today i was a little bit on a stealth mission at the office mainly because mm, to put it in perspective when i bring well actually i bring my lunch to work every day like i don't buy food unless i absolutely need to aka when there's when there's no food left for me to take there I basically take take it in a container, well, a glass container actually, that I often wash in the kitchen. And the kitchen that that is in my company is usually next to the room where the head honchos have their meetings. So essentially, I had to be really discreet. Well. I often am, but today I had to have an extra layer of secrecy, mainly because there were people in there, a few of the head honchos, and I was like, oh god, if they see me here, I'm dead. Thankfully, the kitchen is quite concealed, so nobody could see me, and I pretty much just went in on a stealth mission like I said before basically trying to avoid being caught by each of them it was a success but another one of the employees that is kind of in the same rank as me saw me and I was just like I don't want people to find out so please keep the secret well paraphrase because I didn't say that actually but you know it was the feeling if you will Anyway, into the game, I thankfully was able to play it, and I gotta say that, and I said it in the title of my video, if you guys haven't seen it yet, is that Periwinkle won't say that he's in love. Like, he's slowly falling for Pastille, if he hasn't already, and I think it's really cute how he realizes his feelings for him. Also, I gotta say that the way they showcase the different types of relationship, whether they are romantic or platonic, is quite interesting. It feels very alive. And also, to finish things, because I really need to get to bed again, <laughs> I think it was rather sad that Bastille felt like he couldn't be himself, you know? I mean, I'm in like chapter 3 of the visual novel, but I hope that by the end of the game that he's able to be more comfortable in, in his own skin, his relationship, and whatnot. I truly hope so because he's really sweet and Periwinkle and him are really cute together. Anyway, that's all for now. Good night, everybody!